So, the major impure one paper is leaked. Or at least that's what an overwhelming majority of you have to say. And well, I believe you. But does Cambridge believe you? Subscribe and let's break this whole situation down. So, the leak is said to have happened in Pakistan. I am not in Pakistan, so I can only go off the information that you guys give me. So, to understand what really happened, we're going to read an account of one of you guys who was in Pakistan and actually took the exam. I'm not sure about other countries, but it was leaked here in Pakistan. Basically, most schools over here don't have their exams in their schools, but in other halls, such as wedding halls. There was a corrupt British council officer from Islamabad, the capital city of Pakistan. He had access to the paper a couple of days before the exam, so he sold it to some students for around 400,000 Pakistan rupees. So that's 1,500 US dollars. He only gave it to a few students who he knew personally. They then sold it to many other candidates in Islamabad for very cheap because they sold it to like 100 students for 70 dollars each. So they profited a lot. Then those students sold it for even cheaper and basically created a chain until the price of the paper dropped to like 50 to 75 dollars. At this point, it was around three hours before the exam and half of the candidates all over Pakistan had the paper. When I entered the exam hall, I found the paper a bit tricky, but the people next to me finished their exams early and so many of them claimed to have gotten 70 plus. Five people tallied their marks with the leaked paper and they got 75 out of 75. So like five people in my hall got top in the world. Okay, so I'll stop there. If you want to read the rest of the comment, you can pause the video here and have a look at it. But yeah, if this is what actually happened, then it's, it's truly unfortunate because thousands, if not millions of students will have to suffer because of the actions of one corrupt officer. And I'm not going to delve into the security measures that Cambridge can take to avoid situations like this. I feel like that's not my place to really go on telling Cambridge what to do or how to conduct their exams. So I'll leave that for you guys to discuss in the comments section below. So why do Cambridge have to say about all this? Well, I found an article from a newspaper outlet based in Pakistan. And Cambridge says, We are looking into the concerns raised about a potential paper leakage on the 2nd of May 2024 for AS Level Mathematics 9709 Paper 12. I'll put the link to this article in the description if you want to go have a look at it by yourself. But basically, this is where we're at. Cambridge has heard you guys and they are looking into the meta. And I understand that this situation can be very frustrating and very stressful. But you know, exams will continue to go on and, and Cambridge won't suddenly just stop running their exams. So what I will say to you guys is this. Maybe the paper has been leaked and this could have serious ramifications on your final mark. But you've got two options to choose from. The first being you could sit around and complain and refuse to prepare for the remaining exams. The thinking being any effort you put in in preparation for the exam won't be justified, right? Like what's the point of preparing for an exam that's just going to be leaked? And I completely agree with you. But then there's also another way of looking at this situation. Okay, the paper may or may not have been leaked, but that's not in my control. But what can I do to put myself in the best position possible, regardless of Cambridge's verdict on this whole issue, so that I am in a good position, I am in good standing. I can continue to work out for the remaining components. In fact, I can use this as incentive to work even harder. And ultimately, the choice is all yours. Sure, you don't have control over the leak, but at the end of the day, you have full control over how you respond to this news. You can decide to take it as a positive or as a negative. And I will tell you this, few students will be able to see this situation with a positive outlook. And for the few that do, you had a massive advantage. If Cambridge decides that the paper is not leaked and continues to mark as normal, you are in pretty good standing because your other components will carry you. And even if Cambridge does decide that this paper is leaked, you are still at an advantage because you can use this first sitting as a mock exam. So when you do the retake, you now know what to look out for, you now know what the exam actually feels like for that exact paper. So now you've got the feedback like, so I did this in the first exam and that didn't quite work for me. So now you can use that information to then correct and do the right thing in the retake. Just to go off on a tangent, I believe it's situations like these that separate good students from great students. Because good students are able to perform when the situation is predictable. But as soon as one thing changes, they're completely knocked off their game. But great students, they'll perform regardless. They're able to adapt and to make the necessary changes as the situation changes. I know I'm getting very philosophical at this point, but just bear with me. 
There's a quote by Mike Tyson that explains this perfectly. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. And that's just it. You've been punched in the face and you're down. There's nothing you can do about it but to get back up and get your hands back up and continue to fight. Because it's not over yet. You've still got S1 and P3 to prove your worth. So continue working, continue grinding. Eventually all your efforts will come to fruition. And for those of you who are cynical, take advantage of the fact that most students will use this as an excuse to stop working. So be the one to continue to work hard, to continue to study hard. And you'll be the one to do extremely well and stand out from the rest. You've been punched in the face and you're down on the canvas. Do you get up or do you quit? The choice is yours. Choose wisely. Oh, and before I go, if you want to stay up to date with this whole leak situation, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Otherwise, I wish you all the best in your remaining exams. Bye-bye.